another day and another big and very unique party here in small town Serbia. So if you guys remember two weeks ago, Ivana and I went to our first ever regatta, which was on the beautiful Drina River, where the dam opened up and sent something like 10,000 rafts down the river. Everybody was drinking and partying and dancing. And there were even people who were on their inflatable raft with barbecue. Oh. <laughs> Quite literally playing with fire, okay? True. And so the Drina Regatta was so memorable to us, it got us thinking, I bet you there are some more good Serbian parties coming soon. Because it seems like Serbian people like to party and know how to throw a good one. And so introducing the Kucha Trumpet Festival. Now I know what you're thinking. Trumpet Festival sounds lame. But give it a chance, I think you might like it. Because in this small town, there are something like 5,000 permanent residents. So very small place, and yet despite that, something like 100,000 people are going to be here for this festival. Now a lot of these people are going to be here to participate in the proper competition, which has got a huge main stage, uh, some judges, and from what I understand, some highly prestigious awards to be won. But to be clear, me and Ivana, probably like you at home, are not exactly trumpet aficionados. Right. <laughs> So what's great about this festival is totally separate from the main stage, you have uh, miles and miles of this, which is some really good looking barbecue food, a bunch of friendly people eating and drinking. And what's great is the bands who are not performing on the main stage, they will come around here and put on little impromptu shows. So as you're wandering through this huge place with tons of brightly colored stalls, you can sort of follow your ear to the next five piece or ten piece band who are playing trumpet and maybe saxophone or tuba or something, maybe some drums. And you can sort of wander around and let your ears do the leading you as you bounce from good little party to good little party. <laughs> and so with that in mind, it's about 7 p.m. Uh -huh. and it's summertime and it's Serbia after all. So let's get a beer. Let's go. Is that a real snake? Really? So evidently this is a famous festival all across Europe. Uh -huh. And this town is really known for the trumpet. I don't think this sculpture is here just for this weekend. <laughs> no, no, this no, is, no. Uh, what this town is known for. Absolutely right. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of the people here are traditional clothes. These guys are the beach clothes and the, and the uh, brass instruments. So massive shout out to all of the performers. Thank you. No thank you. Vala, vala. Nice guy. But massive shout out to the performers because without them, it's basically just a big fair. There's rides for the kids, there's some music and there's food. But with the performers, it changes the whole atmosphere of the party because there's so much energy in the brass and the trombones and clarinets and everything. And it makes people dance. And I say they're good. If they make me dance, they're good. Absolutely right. If they make you dance, you owe them a buck. That's only fair. That's only fair. All right, so I want to say this. I'm not sure how true it is, but a lot of people here seem to be drinking a lot. Oh, yeah. But we have seen exactly zero people who have clearly taken too much. 
it seems like Serbian people are responsible drinkers, or at the very least, their friends take them home when they've crossed the line. Because everyone's partying, everyone's smiling, and no one is down and out. Listen, I've seen people really drunk, but their friends always take care of them. I think that's right. Yes. It's a nice exactly. thing because uh, safe, clean, and organized, but still very right. intoxicated. Yes. With that being said, let's eat. You're making me so hungry. Let's eat here. Yeah, this is what we want today. This is pork and Sour cabbage. cabbage. They call it wedding cabbage. Now, yesterday we tried the roasted pig. As you can imagine, very good. But since then, everyone's been telling us that we have to try this dish, which is cooked in a big clay pot, which looks interesting. And it's pork and cabbage. Yeah. It's gonna be really good. Let's try it. Food looks really, really good. Oh yeah. Uh, it's called, well, in English it's called wedding cabbage. Wedding? Yeah, it's like stewed pork with sour cabbage. And it's a specialty from this area, so. Is this our third wedding already? <laughs> We're having a wedding, wedding pork. Let's uh, try it. This is the type of dish where I look at it and I think, how could that be bad? It yeah. looks fatty, it looks flavorful, it looks warm and soft and tender and delicious. And I oh. think it's all of those things. Remember, I think in one of the video you said Serbian doesn't eat cabbage. Hey, look at the amount of cabbage. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Let's try the cabbage first. Mm. Sour, alright? I think it's fermented cabbage. Pickles. Pickles. Would be my guess. Look at the fat. Oh yeah. Look at the pork. Because mm. fermented cabbage is more like kimchi. I think this is pickled cabbage. That's mm -hmm. my guess. It melts in your mouth. I, I believe it. And actually it looks like a good meal to maybe soak up some oh, yeah. excess people that we've had over the past few days. Mm. We might have Pivo and Rakia's stomach that uh, the cabbage can help uh, absorb. Right, right. I don't know which one I like better. This one or the roasted pig? Pesenje. Pesenje or this one? They're both good. The cabbage tastes like the sarma cabbage. Uh, it's good. I like it. Uh -huh. Very good. Oh, it's like very comfort food. And then after this, I'm ready to dance again. <laughs> Let's eat. said uh, we'll wander into the dark here and then we will go to the main stage I think the finals are happening now and the winner will be revealed right. something like this so let's go to the main stage <laughs>
of the Trumpet Festival. By the way, this amusement park is like a mini nightclub for the kids. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 